Hi everyone, Adrienne Animations here. This is a bit different than my usual content, but I was approached by the company Gaumon to do a review of one of their screen tablets. I'd like to specify at the start that even though they sent me a tablet, this is not a sponsored video, and all opinions are entirely truthful and from my own experience. I'll be reviewing the PD1161, an 11.6 inch screen tablet. It's one of the smallest screen tablets I've seen, and it's pretty affordable, only around $200 at the moment. It's cheaper than what I usually use for my personal work, which is a medium-sized Intuos Pro. Inside the box, there's just about everything you'd need. The tablet has a screen protector that was very satisfying to peel off. The screen itself was made way more reflective than I was expecting. Hello! There are eight buttons on the side, which is the same as my current tablet and what I'm used to. It has some wires with a USB and an HDMI port, so Mac users make sure you have some adapters. I did not, so I had to buy an HDMI to USB-C adapter, and luckily I've already got a few USB to USB-Cs floating around, so I was just able to grab one that I already had. I'll leave links to the adapters that I'm using in the description as well as more info on the tablet itself. It also obviously comes with a power cord, however, the neat thing here is that it looks like the power plug itself is unique to the kind of plug you'd need depending on what country you're in. The guidebook included also has a very easy to follow step-by-step -step process to set everything up from plugging in to installing the drivers and more. The pen itself is really nice. It has two buttons on the side and it comes with a stand that opens up with a bunch of extra nibs inside. The tablet that I got, however, does not include a stand, and I've gotten very used to looking straight ahead while I draw, so I decided to buy one for myself. It does come with a neat little drawing glove, which I'm excited to try out because I've never actually used one before. To download the drivers, all you have to do is go to Gaumon's website, click on Support, Driver Download. Once you're there, you can filter however is easiest for you. I just went to the model and looked until I found PD1161. Then from there, you'll just download it and follow the steps provided. Overall, I don't have much to say about the use of the tablet itself. After downloading the drivers, there is virtually no setup. The part that took the most effort was the calibration, which I didn't do right, so my pen wasn't one-to-one -one with where I touched it, but it was close enough for me to get a drawing done without much problem. After this, I'll probably go back and recalibrate it to get it closer, but again, it wasn't a huge deal. Surprisingly, the small size wasn't very hard to work on either. For myself personally, in the long term, I'd like to work on a much larger screen since I'm usually working in a professional setting and animation will require much more room on a screen. I already have trouble fitting everything I want to onto a 27-inch monitor. If I were to buy myself a screen tablet, I would invest in something that was at least 22 inches. If you're okay with smaller screens, I would really recommend this tablet. It works great, was easy to get used to, and at the very least, it's a good step into screen tablets in general. The pen is also very lightweight, but not light enough that it slipped out of my hands at all. The buttons felt nice, and I had no trouble just using them with my thumb. At this point, all I do is repeat myself, so I'll just leave some music on and let you enjoy the speed paint. All the information you'd need about Gaumon's product is in the description. Happy drawing!